Thanks, President. Listening to the cheerleading in here, safe and secure, thousands of miles away from the front lines, I think it would be a useful exercise for us to remind ourselves about what ordinary Ukrainians are experiencing. The Economist reports of forced recruitment across the country. Draftees with no experience or training are being sent to the front in what a UK minister calls first world war levels of attrition. Casualty figures are secret. But da wollen Leute sterben. Da wollen Leute sterben. Haben früher Frieden geschrieben. Jetzt haben sie Krieg gesehen. Und finden Krieg ist schön. Da wollen Leute sterben. Haben Verweigerung geschrieben. Jetzt haben sie Wagen gesehen und finden Wagen sind schön. Da wollen Leute sterben, haben gegen USA geschrieben. Jetzt diktieren USA und Ukraine ist schön. Da wollen Leute sterben. Wollen sie nicht gehen, das sollen andere tun, denn selber sterben ist nicht schön. war levels of attrition. Casualty figures are secret, but we know there are estimates of about 120,000. Battalion commanders tell the Washington Post of recruits fleeing positions en masse. Politico record reports a crackdown on deserters. These are human beings, and there is a shameful lack of empathy for ordinary people in the war rhetoric in here. The debate is about keeping the weapons flowing to keep the war going. Ukraine is burning through a generation of men, sons, husbands, brothers who can never be replaced. This cannot go on indefinitely. And ye sickening war generals who sit in here and will these men to our debts, you make me sick. We need peace, we need dialogue, however unpleasant that may be.